Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mia Rodriguez, otherwise known as Rod VA Productions, and I am a professional voice actress. Oh, I'm so excited to get into this video. Um, as you can see right now, I am making my very own YouTube intro in um, Canva right now. And I hope you guys really like that, that um, intro because um, I'm not even going to say I worked really hard on it because it was literally a template that I got from the website. Um, but, you know, I did customize it a little bit to fit, you know, my personality a little more. And by that, I mean literally just change the text color and make it glow. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I work hard. Um, but that wasn't really the point of the video today. Um... Today, uh, I'm gonna be talking about resumes. Resumes, resumes, resumes. As you can see here, I clearly didn't know what I wanted my resume to <laughs> look like. Um, I've seen many, many, many wonderful voice acting resumes from you know my fellow voice actors on like Twitter and LinkedIn and stuff like that. And I know what's supposed to go on there, but I don't know why when I was making it, I was like, what does a resume <laughs> look like? Um, so yeah, I picked a template and now I'm just customizing it. Um, this surprisingly took me a very, very long time. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, your voice acting resume, um, it just showcases everything that you've done. Well, not everything, it showcases um, every relevant thing that you've done, I would say, um, in terms of projects that you were a part of, um, any roles and um, you know big things you're a part of. But wow, I'm so good at explaining. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so when I started this, voiceover thing um i had no idea what i was doing in terms of marketing um, um i didn't have a website i didn't even know how to make a website obviously i didn't know how to make a resume properly because let me tell you a little bit of that about that my very first resume was awful and that was because um, it literally was in repertoire format and for anyone who is a musician out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's that awful, like stacked upon each other, like listing format and it's all like squished in the middle of the page and I didn't even put my name on it. I literally just put the category and the project i didn't even i didn't put anything else and it was in this really big font sizing and it, it was just it was a nightmare but i didn't realize it was a nightmare until well into my journey um <laughs> um i i had a couple of variations of my resume no what no, blah, 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 none of which were correct um until the one that I'm referencing right now as I'm making my new one. And what does that mean? So for your resume, typically, um, it'll have your name and your profession. And it doesn't have to have a headshot of you, but I think it is preferred. I think it just looks more professional that way. And some ways to contact you. And then all the stuff that you've been in so basically you put a category down like here i say animation and then there's three separate rows now depending on the type of acting that you do what you put in the rows is you know it changes but for me what i did is the first row um that's nice and perfectly lined up with everything um <laughs> is the project name um that I did and then the second row um can either be the character name that she played or the type of role it was meaning were you a lead supporting role extra reoccurring etc etc and then the third row is typically either the director the producer or the company that 
you know, made this game or whoever hired you. But honestly, whatever has more credibility in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Everything else, everything else after that is up to you. Well, I shouldn't say that. Um, it's highly recommended that you also put your voiceover training. Um, you know, the classes that you've taken, the people that you've trained with, your education, like where did you go to college? And I'm sure you guys already know what's supposed to be on there, but um, this is just mine. This is mine. And this has been a long, long time coming. Um, I, the last resume that I'm referencing right now literally came from a Google Doc. Like I didn't even know how to make my resume pretty. But now I did. <laughs> um, but yeah, beside that, um, I've decided to make this year the year of me and marketing. Meaning, um, I'm going to focus a lot on representing myself and marketing myself because representing myself is the gateway to getting representation. Um, I am now looking for representation agents. Well, shh, don't tell any, don't tell anyone that I said that. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, in order to do that, you really need to show that you know how to get work without anyone else's help. Um, that you know how to showcase yourself and present yourself in a way that will make clients trust you um, or know that, you know, they can trust you. Um, and so I revised my resume, obviously. Um, I'm gonna try and get back on the YouTube course. And I actually made a website, my very first website. I'm very, very proud of it. It probably looks very immature to some people, but I'm I'm happy with it. Um, and yeah, um, I just wanna let you guys know that like whatever your stage that you're in in your journey is completely valid. You know, everyone moves at a different pace and um mine just happens to be revising my resume and i also made a logo for my youtube channel and my website which it, it will flash sometime soon but yeah that's basically all that this video was today uh, thank you guys so so much for watching and listening to me babble and um i see you in the next one all right thank you so much bye